Okay. Don't take this personally, okay? It's just that I just can't have sex with a sick person. I'm with you, Chandler. I mean, I can't have sex with a sick person either. That's disgusting. But I'm not sick. Let me prove it to you. We are two healthy people and the bribe of lime. Hello and welcome to today's English lesson with the TV series Friends featuring Monica and Chandler. In this scene, Monica is sick, but she can't admit it to herself because she is a strong woman and never gets sick. Yet she apparently is. Now Monica wants to seduce Chandler to have sex with her to prove that she is fine and in the prime of her life. But let's watch the whole scene leading up to that. As always, you watch the scene with subtitles first. Then I explain all the vocabulary. And finally, you can test yourself by watching the scene again without any subtitles. Let's go. Hey, hey what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? Uh, they sent me home. They said I can't work if I'm sick. Oh, oh. so sorry that you're sick. I'm not sick. <laughs> I don't get sick. Getting sick is for weaklings, it's for pansies. Honey, no one thinks that you're a pansy, but we do think that you need a tissue. I have not been sick in over three years. I'm gonna grab you some tissue. I, I don't need a tissue, I'm fine. When you put a D at the end of fine, you're not fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, it's a really hard word to say. Okay, so what do you what do you want to do? Let's do something crazy. I know, let's rest and drink lots of fluids. Okay, I'll rest. But uh, you know, if I'm going to bed, then you're coming with me. See, that would be impossible to resist if you weren't all drippy here. Are you saying that you don't want to get with this? Yeah, I don't think you should say that even when you're healthy. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> don't take this personally, okay? It's just that I just can't have sex with a sick person. I'm with you, Chandler. I mean, I can't have sex with a sick person either. That's disgusting. But I'm not sick. Let me prove it to you. We are two healthy people and the bribe of lime. See, that's the thing. I would like to stay in the prime of my life. Wow, I love how Monica acts in this scene. But now that you have watched the whole scene, it's time to learn the vocabulary. You will see the scene bit by bit again, followed by me explaining essential parts of the vocabulary. Let's get into it. I'm so sorry that you're sick. I'm not sick. <laughs> I don't get sick. Getting sick is for weaklings, it's for pansies. A weakling is someone who is weak, either physically or in character. The word weakling has a very disapproving connotation, so be careful using it in conversation. An example sentence with the word weakling would be Only a weakling would be willing to lie to save himself from punishment. Next we have the word pansy. The word pansy has a literal and a figurative or symbolic meaning. Literally speaking, pansy means a small garden plant. You can see a pansy in this picture. But Monica used the word in a figurative sense. Dan Pansy refers to an extremely offensive word for a man who is gay or whose behavior is considered to be like that of a woman. At that moment, Monica doesn't show much respect for homosexual people. But when you know Monica's character more in depth, that's normally not the case. I guess she is just irritated about the fact that everybody calls her sick. And as you likely know from watching the series Friends before, Monica always has to pretend to be perfect and in control. 
yet currently she's not. That makes her angry. Getting sick is for weak legs, it's for pansies. <laughs> Honey, no one thinks that you're a pansy, but we do think that you need a tissue. Next we have the word honey. Again the word honey also has a literal and a figurative meaning. Literally speaking, honey refers to a sweet, sticky yellow substance made by bees and used as food. But once again, Monica used the word in a figurative sense. So here honey refers to a name that you call someone you love or like very much. And tissue is a piece of thin soft paper that you use to blow your nose. I have not been sick in over three years. <laughs> I'm gonna grab you some tissue. I, I don't need a tissue. I'm fine. Words like gonna and wanna are very common in spoken language. They are informal words used in rapid speech of everyday life. So gonna means going to. Wanna means want to. And gotta means got to. Okay, I'll rest. But uh, you know, if I'm going to bed, then you're coming with me. <laughs> See, that would be impossible to resist if you weren't all drippy here. <laughs> Drippy means tending to drip. If something is drippy, it's in a liquid state and likely to fall in drops. Like for example, a drippy nose. Are you saying that you don't want to get with this? <laughs> to get with someone is a slang expression. To get with someone can have different meanings according to the context. Here it most likely means to have sex with someone. So Monica is asking Chandler if he want to have sex with her. Another example sentence would be I wouldn't be surprised if he got with her last night after the party. They were very flirty all night. I'm with you Chandler. I mean I can't have sex with a sick person either. That's disgusting. But I'm not sick. Let me prove it to you. We are two healthy people. And the bribe of life. I'm with you means I agree with you. Example, someone says, I think this old bridge is sort of dangerous. And another one answers, I'm with you. Let's go back another way. And finally we have the expression in the prime of your life. That means the best years of your life when you are at the peak of your powers. Like in this example sentence, she was in the prime of her working life when she retired, but she continued as a consultant. You have just learned all the essential vocabulary, so it's time to test yourself by watching the clip again, but this time without subtitles. Can you understand everything they're saying? Let's find out. Hey, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? Uh, they sent me home. They said I can't work if I'm sick. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry you're sick. I'm not sick. <laughs> I don't get sick. Getting sick is for weak legs. It's for pansies. <laughs> Honey, no one thinks that you're a pansy, but we do think that you need a tissue. <laughs> I have not been sick in over three years. <laughs> I'm gonna grab you some tissue. I, I don't need a tissue. I'm fine. When you put a D at the end of fine, you're not fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, it's a really hard word to say. Okay, so what do you what do you want to do? Let's do something crazy. I know. Let's rest and drink lots of fluids. <laughs> okay, I'll rest. But, uh, you know, if I'm going to bed, then you're coming with me. <laughs> See, that would be impossible to resist if you weren't all drippy here. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't want to get with this? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think you should say that even when you're healthy. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay. Don't take this personally, okay? It's just that I just can't have sex with a sick person. I'm with you, Chandler. I mean, I can't have sex with a sick person either. That's disgusting. But I'm not sick. Let me prove it to you. We are two healthy people and the bribe of lime. See, that's the thing. I would like to stay in the prime of lime. This was a great scene with Monica and Chandler. If you want to watch a scene with Rachel and Ross, I recommend you watch this video next. In this video, Rachel dances naked in her apartment. Ross can see that from his apartment and thinks Rachel is trying to seduce him. But is it really the case? Let's find out by watching the video. <laughs> 